student is coming to me for the first time i don't know their level of english it is through communication that i'll understand whether that person is a beginner or an advanced level speaker or maybe an intermediate speaker so i need to begin my conversation with simple sentences so right off the bat that student was like ma'am don't you know the synonym of this one can't you use some flowery language exactly. for this you know how are you doing I'm doing fine, ma'am. Thank you so much for asking. How about you? I'm also doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, so please. I met you first time. Yes. Are you a yes. new tutor here? I am. I am a new tutor okay. here. So can you give me an introduction of yourself so that I can know you a little better? Okay. I am Kavita, and I am joining you from Mumbai. By profession, I am a teacher. I teach chemistry mm -hmm. subjects. Yes, it is my first time. I'll also give an introduction of myself. Uh, my name is Devottama Sharkar. I hail from Kolkata in West Bengal. I have also been a teacher for more than five years now. I have done my masters in both English and organizational psychology. Currently, I am pursuing my passion through English talking. and the or the various other online platforms as well i teach offline as well but i find it more comfortable here i can connect to so many new um, learners you know like you somebody like you so this is uh, i'm i'm really enjoying my journey right now so yeah so uh, i mean before we begin our session i would like to ask you i think you already have uh, our topic for today right uh, i haven't seen it Okay, I so it's on manners. Is better. Okay, okay, all right. So it's also about manners, like how we are conversing right now. So we are being polite to each other, right? So I mean, mm. I can ask you a few questions. Like we don't have to dive right into it. We can just have a conversation regarding that. So I feel that it is really important to be polite, to be outgoing, and you are also a teacher. You can also understand that. You know, we have to keep our calm. you know as teachers we have to keep our calm even if students are rude even if they are not listening listening to us right this is like my point of view so can you give me your point of view like how manners are important in a teacher i just don't think only in a teacher but by regular view i feel that everybody should have manners everybody yeah. manners of carrying humanity along with you manners of caring kindness with you manners of being patient and calm all the time without being very aggressive and taking any prompt action instantly so i feel that manner is one such way to rise in your life that you know success comes to those those who know how to treat themselves along with treating others because we are all interdependent on each other be it for a small work like sweeping if a person is sweeping in front of you you need to have courtesy to stand up give him space and if he feels uncomfortable sweeping and beneath your area you should take that broom and sweep it yourself this is also one manner and when you have such manner the person who was sweeping definitely will have good thoughts about you and when you had start gaining those good feedback from all the people around you that is immensely going to impact in your personal career because there is some very invisible power of god who is always watching you how you are carrying right. yourself what you are doing to others is ultimately coming back to you in some part of your life and i feel when you are being this good to others when you are having to having that feel of being a human yourself and understanding the other person that is going to take you ahead in your life and Correct. it is very inexpensive to carry manners and right. show it to somebody definitely i like that this word world, this rude world and mm. where everybody is so busy being selfish to their own selves not helping others not so uh, uh, being nice to others i feel that one nice person can impact your entire day and the person okay. might keep thinking about you for the whole day oh this was such a good person i met like that right 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 i absolutely agree since we are on the topic on rude persons like you know we have always been taught to respect older older people like our elders and respect that uh, respect them no matter what even if they are rude to you i like 
like to me like many people have told me that even if those elders are rude to you it is your duty it is your job to respect them so what is your stand on that what are your opinions i understand respect is a different thing if a person is nice to me i should pay attention to this person's behavior also sometimes you know extreme nice is also not good people mm-hmm. start taking advantage of that they start feeling that this person is never going to revert or never going to stand for herself so it's okay to take advantage of our age and do whatever you want and i have been through this that the mm-hmm. more i be nice to somebody that i respect their age i don't want to get into the matter still they will prompt me to take some action towards them and respect is okay but if it comes to self respect Hmm. do not listen to anybody no you okay. need to have that limit that person should interfere in your life only to a certain limit if it is crossing that then you have to do something it's not that i am good mannered person there are some people who will never understand hmm. they are not meant to be good to others they themselves okay. are not and that is the way they are known for their living because you cannot be always nice to everybody always you should be if it is your turn in the beginning you have to be pretending to be okay you are cool you did not bother and all these stuff but when they are insisting you to do that definitely you should take your stand correct, i think that correct. way correct i also have a similar stance you know i believe that respect garners respect so if that person doesn't respect me even i'm an adult they t- treat me like a child somebody like i don't know better since they are elder to me they have seen the world more they are th- seeing it through their lens right they understand right. that they know better i don't know anything that's why they don't respect my opinions but i feel there's a lot to learn from youngsters as well you know uh, especially True. like you know gen z has taught me so much taught me to be unassuming first like okay. Okay. like when when in the beginning i was talking to say suppose i'll be talking to you okay so you are staying this you are uh, you are wearing these kind of clothes maybe you are uh, maybe you are in a teaching profession maybe somewhere you have to wear very modest clothes you True. can't have such revealing clothes uh, what about your mother and father what is your age maybe you are married like that maybe you have kids but right now when i'm talking to these people they're like ma'am how do you know that i am married like do you have any idea have i have i ever told you that i'm married have i ever told you that i live with my parents so this is my age so i have to be married so yeah i i sat and thought correct this is correct because it is not right now that uh, you know you marry off a girl at 25 we don't have that mentality right. as of now right, so right. before we i made some assumptions because i was taught that way to make communication easier you know so mm. because in a, in a certain way that makes our work faster we work smarter Fair efficiently so in that way Fair i assume certain things i i told him that yeah you can practice with the parents you can practice with your spouse and he was like how do you know i'm married i said yeah it made me think that of course i don't know so this is yeah. something i learned from youngsters and and i'm really open to learning which i think helps me a lot to be at par with today's society so yes that right. is something which i have learned i mean i a person can be rude to me but doesn't mean that they can disrespect me they can right. be rude they can be disrespectful but that doesn't mean that just because they are elder to me i'll have to show the mm. same level of respect so that is my mm. stance on that okay um okay we so you are matching uh, with our thoughts <laughs> yeah i mean since we are teachers we we are teaching students i think who Definitely. are of similar age you are a high school <laughs> teacher so right now you're surrounded by gen z so you know how they are thinking and they demand respect which i respect a lot okay so they won't just respect you just because you're older to them which i find really admirable you know they are like you give me respect i'll give you respect okay so correct, this is correct, something correct, correct. so this is really nice so anyway kavita do you have any questions for me since we are nearing the end of our session yeah i have a question to ask that when you said that you are a teacher and you have been teaching on english talkie for a long while now and this is your passion may i know that uh, what is that worst student you might have met who could speak in english but did not have communication skill 
Okay, you know, so when we are talking to each other, we are so polite. We are easy going. It is so easy to convey my message to you without giving a second thought that this madam is going to listen to me no matter what. But there are some students I'm sure that you might have met who can speak English, but they are still mean by the way they are speaking, and that correct, makes them correct. horrible and terrific. Um. Uh, yes. So. Uh, on English talkie, I haven't been on a long time, but I have been on other online platforms. Um, so uh, even on that platform, I have come across students who think they speak English really well, and they can actually disrespect me. If uh, say when a student is coming to me for the first time, I don't know their level of English. It is through communication that I'll understand whether that person is a beginner or an advanced level speaker or maybe an intermediate speaker. So I need to begin my conversation with simple sentences. So right off the bat, that student was like, ma'am, don't you know the synonym of this one? Can't you use some flowery language exactly. for this? You know, I was like, yes, I, I know. But right after that, I told him two words. I, I won't mention those two words, but I, I just told him two, two words. And he was dumbfounded. He did not know the meaning of, uh, of of those words. Okay, so they try to show the arrogance. I think is the most important thing in a student, which can hamper their learning ability. Whenever True. you are coming to a teacher to learn something, you should always go there with open arms. If your vessel of knowledge is filled to the brim, I can't even put one drop in it. It will mm. overflow. Right, you oh, have to God. come with an em empty vessel. Otherwise, there's no way. There's no way you can retain correct, knowledge. Correct, correct, correct. So, so yes. Thank so this you. One. It, it's a wonderful answer. Wonderful answer. <laughs> Thank really you so it. much. Thank you so much. I hope I could help you. Um, though, even though I Definitely wish we could yeah. have, you know, spoken longer, we could have talked for a longer time. Anyway, that, that's not Definitely an issue. Definitely next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, sure. I'll, I can move yeah. uh, to the feedback. Like at the end, I think you uh, mentioned the word terrific. I think you meant terrible there. That uh, this is a terrific quality is which may. Uh, terrific, terrific sometimes it means, uh, you know, in a positive way. It's a terrific performance. Okay. We often say it's a terrific performance okay. or it's a okay, okay, terrific okay. park or something, terrific okay. dress. So when you say terrible, okay. that is a negative word. Okay. okay. You can say that. Okay. I am, maybe terrible. have read it somewhere terrific, so I use it. I, I, thought, I understand. Maybe, I but, uh, you know, that that yeah. Uh, so the context needs to be uh, mattered. So you can say correct, it's correct. Uh, terrifically bad. Something like mm. that, you know, you have to add a something that that's why I understand. Uh, that's how I will understand that you are mentioning a negative thing, okay? So, exactly. uh, things like horrendous or terrifically bad, like but uh, awesomely mm. bad performance. We say often say ah, oxymorons, got it, got it. okay? So, these are called yeah. oxymorons when Oxymor. you compare these two words, right? Oh. So, you can mention like that. Otherwise, if you want to use a word to denote something negative, um, you can say terrible. That's an easy yeah. way out. Okay. Yeah. So okay. so okay. this is it from my side, Kavita. Thank you yes, so much for joining. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.